Hey guys, and welcome to this video for my DC Filmation collection. So we'll be taking a look at uh, three different videos and we'll go ahead and start with Superman. Now, The Adventures, The New Adventures of Superman was actually released in two different sets. Um, season one came in a, a cardboard casing, which I'm not a fan of. So I decided to go ahead and add those discs to this case, this nice plastic uh, case that uh, seasons two and three came in. So here's a look at the cover. Here's a look at the side. And here's a look at the back. Now, when I change these discs into the plastic cases, it's not just about uh, just putting, just throwing the disc into the case just for the heck of it. Uh, for the most part, I like to, I like the discs. They have to complement the artwork of the original or the different um, cover. So more or less, everything has to match up in order for me to just actually just switch it over. You know, there has to be some consistency. So here's a uh, disc one and disc two from the original cardboard um, part one volume, which is in color. And then you flip it over and then you have uh, disc one, disc two, which are uh, seasons two and three from this series, which is odd because the artwork is not black and white, but like a blue and gray, grayish tone, while the outside artwork is in color, which is kind of odd, but at least it makes the disc um, stand out differently. So then moving on, we have The Adventures of Batman, which this series also came in uh, two parts. Um, this time, part two, which was the 70s part, The New Adventures of Batman, was the volume that was in the cardboard casing but again you know i switched it out and put it in this nice case which the first volume came in the 60s series so here's a look at the artwork which is awesome this artwork actually fits the 70s series more so than the 60s in my opinion and then here's the side profile and then here is a look at the back and again the artwork um, to me is more modern and it doesn't really fit the 60s series. So that's another reason why uh, my combining the 70s series disc into this case, that's another reason why to me, it, I feel like it works. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the inside. So here are disc one and disc two of um, the first volume, or uh, I'm sorry, the 60s, the Adventures of Batman series. And then you flip it over and then you have the 70s, um, volume the new adventures of batman disc one and disc two now this 70s um series the new adventures of batman aired in different configurations on cbs back in the 70s uh it aired alone it aired uh, together in a show called um tarzan and the super seven and then uh, it aired uh, uh leading the the show called batman and the super seven also worth mentioning um, Adam West and Burt Ward, who voice, who actually were the actors from the original 60s Batman show, uh, provided the voices of Batman and Robin in this. And also um, Filmation um, Anjanu, uh, Melanie Britt, um, she voiced both the characters of Batgirl and Catwoman. And she later went on to uh, voice She-Ra as well. And then the last DVD in the series is... Uh, uh, DC Comics uh, Superheroes the Filmation Adventures. So this actually contained different cartoons, um, including the original Justice League cartoon. Most of these, all of the, most of these cartoons are from the 60s. And um, this particular one not only features three episodes of the Justice League, it features three individual uh, cartoons for uh, The Flash, Green Lantern, and Hawkman and the Atom. Uh, uh, Superman, I believe he's only featured in the Justice League um, cartoon segments. And um, Aquaman is not featured at all in the series. However, um, Aquaman, there's a, a separate um, Aquaman series um, that comes in a plastic, I'm sorry, that comes in a cardboard case, which I had. The disc art has been combined to this because I feel like uh, his disc fit this particular 
artwork, he's on the cover, and the color schemes match up. So this would be the perfect case. The other cases um, are four disc cases now, and now that makes this a four disc case uh, collection as well. So here's a look at the cover. Here's a look at the side. And then here is a look at the back cover. Now this disc, um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the inside. So here are the two um, disc, original disc, disc one and disc two. And there behind it, you see the episode guide. Now the Aquaman series disc are in the back. And to me, I think the color, like I said, the color schemes of the Aquaman disc fit the artwork for this. And then if you can see under here, there's actually a picture of Aqualad there on the inside next to the Aquaman disc. So, hey, that's further confirmation that I think this is a great, uh, I configured this. Uh, I think it looks great. Okay, so um, an another thing about this uh, disc is that it also contains uh, the original Teen Titans cartoons. There are about three of them, three to four, I believe, featured in this set. Uh, with the original Teen Titans, not the ones from Teen Titans or Teen Titans Go, but the original uh, classic lineup of Speedy, Aqualad, um, Kid Flash, and Wonder Girl, Donna Troy. So here's a look at Speedy. Here's Kid Flash. And then you've seen Aqualad. And here is Donna Troy, Wonder Girl, who... Um, because of legal rights and ownership issues, um, she really hasn't really appeared in much um, of any of the uh, DC animated cartoons. Um, hopefully that'll change. Uh, there was a nice little surprise at the end of the recent Teen Titans Judas Contract uh, DVD for fans of Donna Troy, who deserves uh, to be shown. I mean, she's Wonder Girl after all. And um, if those of you who don't know her story, She's had uh, different origins, but my favorite is that she was an orphaned um, child rescued uh, from a burning building by Wonder Woman, and she was taken to Paradise Island, home of Wonder Woman in the Amazon. She was adopted there by the queen and given Amazonian powers. So in the Linda Carter uh, series, uh, Deborah Winger portrayed her, but she, was, she had the name Drusilla, but basically was based on the same character. Uh, they're similar costume design, but that's basically who the character was. So hopefully in time, uh, Donna Troy would get her due as Wonder Girl, the original Wonder Girl at that. So thanks for watching this video for my DC uh, Comics uh, Filmation Collection. So if you have any of these videos, if you have any ideas or comments about how I configured the DVDs, you like it, you don't like it, uh, or comments about the superheroes in general, uh, leave a comment for me or like my video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.